Hello viewers, welcome back to my channel. This is Rajiraj and you are streaming on the Study Beast. So in my previous video I discussed regarding the uh, algorithm and the concept for the gap test in the simulation modeling. So now in this video I will be discussing regarding the solve problem. So it will be a big uh, massive problem to solve uh, from the other kind of uh, problems we solved in the simulation modeling. So this is the biggest, you can see the biggest of the solved problem for the gap test so this will take a considerable amount of time so you can see the big table here that is I am going to fill this after this one more table will be coming here so that we have to solve again lot of computations are there you need to use your uh, calculators for this I have directly computed the values and I will just feed it here only for demonstration purpose so I will just explain a, a basic few uh, like the how the each of the steps are calculated and rest I will all fill it you can cross check with your calculators and so finally uh, we solve the problem on the gap test so let's get started so first of all uh, you can see there are 120 digits here so there are following sequence of 120 digits which are there that is 2 3 6 5 6 and this entire thing so this is 120 digits and this digits are in the domain that is 0 to 9 so all these digits are in the range 0 to 9 so we have total of 10 distinct digits in this and total we have 120 digits now they are uh, telling that we have to test whether these digits can be assumed to be independent based on the frequency with which gaps occurs and you have to use the alpha as 0 0.05 like any other problem so simple uh, this digits you have to uh, see whether it is 120 digits and the first step is to define the hypothesis like any other problem for testing the independence as said 0 is a uh, hypothesis that ri is independently distributed and this is not independently distributed now you have the total number of digits as 120 now you need the total number of gaps so how will you estimate that we have 120 digits out of that we have 10 distinct digits so that you will separate that is 120 minus 10 you have 110 number of distinct gaps that is number of gaps you have you have distinct digits as 10 total number of digits as 120 and you have these many number of gaps to be filled so between each of the digits so it is assumed and now you have to prepare this table based on the step 2 that is you have each of the digit that is 0 to 9 you have and the length of each gap and the number of gaps so I will uh, just explain one of this like uh, see first you have this digit 0 so you can see from this stream there is first 0 here and second 0 very next after this so you don't have to calculate this 0 uh, so this is however the first 0 you have to calculate this 0 means you will uh, position of pointer right here that is 0 this is your first next now uh, you have this two zeros after this like uh, this is adjacent to this so the very first zero is this next immediate to that you have this zero so the length of zero between zero that is next zero is zero like if there was one between this and then it was 0 here yeah, then it would be 1 so since it is immediate after so it will be 0 now there are more zeros and from this 0 you have to calculate when is the next 0 occurring so there will be 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 22 23 24 25 26 27 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33 so after the 33rd digit you have the next 0 right here so it will be 33 and so after this when you have the next 0 that is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 so after the 12th one you have the next so likewise you have to calculate for each of this 0 so I have prepared this already I will just input it here so after 12 you have 1, 1, uh, then you have at the 9th occurrence, then 4th occurrence, then you have 2, 2, 
942 then you have d3 then you have 22 then you have 734 yeah 734 so now you have to determine the total number of gaps so that is very easy you just have to count this 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 22 23 24 25 26 27 28 29 30 31 32 33 34 35 36 37 38 39 40 41 42 43 44 45 46 47 48 49 50 
that step three will be uh, based on the interval that you get. Now you will keep a width of three, that is zero to three, then four to seven, then eight to eleven, like and so on. And you will prepare one table uh, you have seen in the algorithm. So that contain many of the columns. So that will be projecting here. And then after that, you have to apply the KS test and solve the problem as it is. So that table I'm going to construct. That is the gap length you have first. Then you have the frequency, then you have the relative frequency. Next you have the accumulative relative frequency, ACC, REL, FRET and SN of X which is SN of X and next you have the F of X. That is a CD for the theoretical function. Now, uh, this I am uh, evaluating with the formula that is 1 minus 0 0.9 raised to x plus 1. So, in the uh, concept, I have discussed one other formula. So, here for simplicity purpose, for calculation, I am using this one. And you have this one that is final f of x minus sn of x, and which is in mod. So, this will fill it very quickly. so this one more okay okay so these many columns that is one two three four five six columns we have so now first you have to uh, determine the gap length so first we have uh, in total we have nine digits so it will be zero to three then you have four to seven then eight to eleven then twelve to fifteen then sixteen to you have nineteen then you have 20 to 23 then you have 24 to 27 then you have 28 to 31 then you have 32 to 35 and finally you have 36 to 39 so these are the gap lengths for the 9 digits you have now will be quickly putting the values in each of this and for first we have the frequency that is 34 that means uh, like from 0 to 3 that is you have to calculate 0, 1 and 2 and 3 so those all 3 when combined how many frequencies are observed so when you calculate from this like uh, how much is the number 0, 0 appears here, 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 here everywhere 0 appears, likewise 1 also appears here, 2 also appears, 3 also appears so likewise you have to calculate and write the frequency which is 34 next you have 30 here next you have 13 then 13 then 9, 5, 3 then you have 3 times as 1 now you have to calculate the relative frequency so how the relative frequency is calculated the frequency which you have that is this one divided by 110 so when you calculate this uh, you will get 0 0.309 for the first value then 0 0.27 then 0 0.1181 then you have again 1181 then 0 0.0818 next you have 0 0.045 next you have 0 0.27 0 0.027 then you have 9.09 .09 into 10 raised to minus 3 and so this remains the same for these two columns next you have to uh, calculate the accumulative relative frequency and so it is very easy that is you have to project this as it is then you have to add this next one that it comes out to be 0.58 similarly you have to add this to this like it will be going in this way that is you are adding this value and successively so it will be 0 0.7 then it will be 0 0.818 then it will be 0 0.9 then it will be 0 0.945 then it will be 0 0.972 then it will be 0 0.981 next it is 0 0.99 and finally it is 1.00 so this 1.00 is actually a check to this that we are doing it in a right manner 
Next, we have this f of x that is 1 minus 0.9 raised to x plus 1. So, what is the value of x? So, value of x is this 3. So, when you put the 3 1's here, so it will be 1 minus 0.9 raised to 4. Similarly, for the next, it will be x value will be 7. So, I am basically talking about the value of x. So, x value you can get from here that is 3, 7, 11, 15, 19 and so on. So, uh, that way you calculate this and you can have uh, the very first value of 3, 4, 3, 9, then you have 5, 6, 9, 5, then you have 0 0.7175, next you have 0 0.8146, then 8784, then you have 0 0.92, 0 0.947, then 9656, 9656 it is. Then you have 0 0.977 and 0 0.9852. And finally, uh, you calculate this, then it is very simple. You have to separate the SN of x from this value. And so you get this value as 0 0.0349. Then you have 0 0.01. Then 0 0.0175. Then you have 3.4 into 10 raised to minus 3. Then you have 0. Next value you have 0 0.0216. Next you have 0 0.025. Again you have 0 0.025. Uh, next you have 0 0.015. Then you have 0 0.013. And finally you have 0 0.0148. So this is the entire table you prepare. Uh, for this gap test, so this is the uh, big table as you can see from the other problems. Now moving on to the next step that is step 4, you have to calculate the maximum of this f of x minus sn of x that is you have to calculate your d that is max of uh, this f of x minus sn of x. So when you go to calculate this max, you will get the max value as this first value that is you will get d as 0.0349 so this is the max value out of this uh, next when you calculate the uh, max value you will move on to step 5 that is step 5 would be calculating your d alpha that is at d at 0 0.05 uh, you have this formula that is 1.36 divided by root 10 that is the number of uh, digits you have that is you have 1.36 divided by 110 and the value comes out to be 0 0.129 so this is the value at d is equal to uh, d at 0 0.025 you have 0 0.129 so next you have the step 6 that is the final step that you have to check whether your d that is you have d value as 0 0.0349 and this value is less than d at 0 0.05 so this value is 0 0.129 so since this is the case and therefore your h0 that is the hypothesis which was defined in the very first step is not rejected and it is accepted therefore h0 is not rejected so this is the entire gap test problem so this was a big problem uh, to deal with so Hope you enjoyed this video. If you found this video helpful, please hit the like button. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe. Thanks for watching this video.